Dr. Mason. Dr. Mason. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I guess it was nothing. A sudden light reflection. It startled me. There's no doubt a comet or a meteor. No. It, it seemed to be a, a drill-shaped thing. Revolving. No, it, it must have been my imagination. It makes me realize how desperately alone the Earth is. Hanging in space like a speck of food floating in the ocean. Sooner or later to be swallowed up by some creature floating by. Oh, come now. Time will tell, Dr. Mason. We can only wait and wonder. Wonder how. Wonder when. Expedition Z06 to base. Expedition Z06 to base. Guard him. I will get the straps. Lie down. Put your hands behind you. He escaped from Saul. I could have stopped him. Derek is to be brought back alive. He is the son of our leader. Derek? I reported his actions and was connected with the leader himself. He told me this. He said Derek does not know. As the son of our leader, the High Court will pardon him. He will be pardoned. When the sky is light, we will begin to search for him. Captain, look at this. The Gargan. It is not dead. It has revived. It flourishes. The excessive nitrogenic gas compound shocked its system. Now it thrives on the very same compounds. Then this planet is suitable. Completely. I must resume radiovision contact. Morrow, Saul, secure the Gargan by expandable leg bands. Out of sight in that cave. The size it attains by the time we return will give us an exact growth rate to expect of the herds. At the rate the Gargon is expected to grow, what will prevent it from tearing loose the leg bands and escaping from the cave? We shall be back before that happens, unless it should receive food in excess of the atmospheric elements. We will leave nothing else for it to consume. Imagine thousands of beasts like that. Millions of times enlarged, roaming over this planet. They will be harvested from the air, so there will be no danger to us. Let us be quick. I do not like to look upon it.
Now that you report the planet is suitable for our purposes, you are to return here immediately and prepare to lead the transport ships there. Derek's escape could now mean difficulty in our operation should he communicate in any way with the inhabitants, inferior though they may be. If we are to return now, how can he be stopped? Leave your best man to find Derek and inform him he is my son. I will join you on the return trip to meet him there. He may be stubborn. He has already threatened our lives. If that becomes the case, he... He must be destroyed. And any beings with whom he might communicate, they must be destroyed. Your orders are complete. I shall send my best man. I heard the orders, Captain. Let me find Derek. You will wait until the sky is light enough to begin the search. We will leave now and return here to meet you when we bring the Gargans. Do not fail, for I shall not fail. Betty, tell me, what is the most advanced form of transportation that you know? What do you mean? What's that got to do with it? Please, tell me, Betty. Well, airplanes. Jet airplanes, I guess. Why? And where do they go? From where to where? To anywhere in the world. And that's all? Where else is there to go? I should not have brought you here. Is it about a new secret weapon? Something you and the others invented and then they turned against you? It, it is something like that. I guess I should try to find someone I can explain it to. Maybe Professor Simpson at the college. He's head of the science department. He will... What is it, Derek? Betty, when you learn where I'm from, well, you may not understand, but... I hope it will not make any difference between us, because... I don't care where you're from. I don't understand all this, but... somehow I feel that I've always known you. That we've never been apart. I... Let us go to the professor you speak of. We have to pass the house first, so I can change. What was that? Did you hear a sound? No. Only the wind. What sort of sound? Nothing. My imagination alarmed me. Come, let us be on our way. Halt! Well, what do you want? I spoke to my granddaughter. You're not getting any help from me. Did they return here? Tell me. I have no reason to harm your granddaughter. But if you do not tell me, so I... You can kill Derek? Why should you care about him? Why shouldn't I? Why do you want to kill him? I... It is important only that he leave here, that I return him to where he belongs. And where is that? From where he escaped. I need not harm anyone if you tell me where he is. If you do not, there will be many deaths. Beginning with you, now. He's not here, he's... In the center of the city. Where? Take me there. You will pilot the vehicle. Go. Be swift. Alice? Betty? Anybody here? Holy mackerel. You think the tip might have been a phony, Mac? Don't think so, Harry. The girl who called seemed to know what she was talking about. Another call, Mac. I'm Joe Rogers, reporter on the Daily News. He's on the way over. Found another skeleton. Only this time at the bottom of a swimming pool. The city hall is just up ahead in the next block. Oh, I hope Grandpa's there waiting for us safe and sound. What are you doing? Be silent. 
Continue ahead. You stay here in the car. You'll be safe. He's after me, not you. Before we got out of there. He may yet. Get in. I will take you back to the police. In his present condition, he cannot remain conscious long. By the time we return with the police, he should be completely helpless. Derek, what was he talking about? The, the Gargon to be raised here and, and you, the son of the leader. You said you didn't know your father. I did not know of the things he said. I thought they'd gone. I wanted to forget them forever. But now I know they plan to return. Hey, wait a minute. I'm going with you. Where? To the old mine shaft. How did you hear about that? The old fellow inside. He's been telling us everything he can think of. Mentioned that's where you were going. OK, hop in. Maybe something will turn up out there. The man guilty of these strange killings now lies mute in confinement at General Hospital where he is being treated for minor injuries. Authorities plan to transfer him to city jail tonight. The fantastic murder weapon he used has not been located. Mystery still surrounds the disappearance of a man-eating beast said to have been in an abandoned mine shaft outside the city limits. These newsreel shots were made immediately after the city police surrounded the cave and found it completely empty. Evidence in the cave appeared to confirm the report that a monster of some sort had been shackled there, but had somehow attained strength enough to pull itself loose and escape. Groups of armed volunteers have set out in search of the creature, hoping to track it down and destroy it. Meanwhile... Thor crashed just below here. If that disintegrator is down there, I'm going to find it. Derek, I just thought. The monster that escaped from the cave. It must have been there at the same time we were. What I can't figure out is, why did it escape when it did? Why not sooner? It would not have been large enough, but the man it consumed increased its growth rate. Then, how big would it be now? There is no telling. You stay here. Keep the door closed. Seems impossible to believe. You're so much like us, like my brother, grandpa when he was young, and to think. We were made the same. The only difference is that we were put on places far, far apart. What is it like where you're from? Babies are bred and raised like livestock parented by the most perfect specimens of our race. If you become ill, you are put to death, as are the old. You won't be... Places of safety, cellars, bomb shelters, as directed by civil defense administrators. I repeat. Derek, they say it's coming. It has grown. It's just northeast of town. I'd better wake up Grandpa. We'll all go down to the cellar. You go there with him. There is a chance I can do something yet. What? What are you looking at? Those wires. Going from pole to pole. They carry the source of energy used for illumination and power in the homes. Yes, electricity. And the wires are spread throughout the city, are they not? You mean you might be able to make the disintegrator work by hooking it to... Possibly. If the power were great enough. The only chance, so I've got to try it. Trust me. Trust me. Derek seemed like such a nice fellow. Grandpa, he promised me something. He promised he would never leave, that he would never go back. 
I don't believe he wants to break his promise to me. I'm not going to let him. What can you do about it, honey? I think I know where he's going. Out by the old mine. I want to go there. I want to see him once more. He's hurt you enough, Betty. Grandpa, please let me go. I must. prisoner is in this building. It looks like they haven't transferred him to city jail yet. What are you planning to do? Never mind. Just get out of the car and walk in front of me. You face the wall. Keep your hands above your heads. I was stupid, Thor. Very stupid. But that is over. We are returning to meet the ships. Together. Why do you let them live? Kill them! There is no need. They will be dead soon enough. Along with everything else on this planet. Go! Look! That's what he meant! I shall make the earth my home, and I shall never, never leave it.